What's up, people? Afro Blade Master here. Nice. Finishing up the smithing, basic, like, like finishing up the crafting, at least. Um, I did not get the uh, achievement for making it to level 10 in two days. Mostly because the mining was taking up fucking age and a half. Um, but I did, I did get to level, I'm currently at level 13, I believe it says. Uh, yeah, I'm at level 13. I put some more port, some more perks in two-handed, put one more perk in enchanting, and put three in smithing. This one I'm going to put in light armor. And, uh, basically I'm just running up to Dragon's Reach, so I can, uh, both show you guys the, um, new armor set I'm wearing, and so I can, hey, and so I can, like, enchant my, so I can enchant some of my gear. Uh, basically, the mining, like, it's... I think because I have the mining motherload mod, like for like before cr the ultimate crafting thing in the load order, that is overriding the actual ore veins. But everything else with crafting is still that. So the ore veins are just flat giving sixty, which takes five minutes for each mining attempt. But, uh. Come to Dragon's yeah, it Reach. takes five minutes Spells for each mining attempt. For those with the talent to guess. Uh, mm. All right, I don't. I don't need to. I don't need to buy anything from you. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should. Um, I made a most of the money I made, most of the experience I got, I got from making this Dragon Slayer, just so I can disenchant it. And I made a shit ton of. Well, these aren't the same. Like with this, like with these ones, um, it's like, oh hey, one ingot can make like ten of them or something. But um, no, let's do it so I fortify my health. Like um, because like, because smithing is like the experience for smithing is decided by the number of things you are. Not, not by the number of things you are smithing, but the price of them. Oh, I also got approached by the courier who gave me this, which just gives the uh, quest to build your own house. Like, because of, like, I made a shit ton of, uh, right because a lot you. of the, like, the stuff I made was really valuable, I, um, fucking, I, am sworn I was to able to get... Burden like a shit ton of smithing experience so like to a point where my uh my smithing level level is at like 80 oh and also i got a lot a lot of gems like several pounds i'm just gonna load her up with all my crafting shit I do not have enough money to, which, by the way, I got another mod that changed it to rupees. I do not have enough money going, then. to get, um, to buy a house to store all this shit in, so Lydia's gonna have to hold it for now. Uh, let's do... Let's just save over this one real quick. And I'll just save and reload. That way it disregards my, um, the console command I use to change, like, the, the, the change my carrying capacity. All right, it's back to normal. And Lydia still will just randomly start dancing. I don't fucking know how to stop that. I'll just deal with it. 
Oh, but yeah, um, this is the armor set I'm wearing. Just let me burn up here so better lighting. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really like the way it looks. But then again, I like JR. I like Final Fantasy JRPGs, where it's like, where half the costumes of some of them are just belts. Like even the like even when it's not even like even the dumb ones. Like, we just random, like, like, completely unnecessary fucking belts. Not, like, Lulu's dress from Final Fantasy X. That's actually, that's actually a really cool design. Lydia's just fucking dancing. Stop it, Lydia. You are worthless. No, I didn't mean that. I actually like Lydia. I just don't like the fact that the amazing follower tweaks mod just... Has your followers randomly fucking dance? Oh shit, I forgot to start the... I forgot to start the timer. Uh, fucking... Okay. I'll just have to play it by ear. Just gonna... Just wanna clear out some combat places to... Get some experience that way. Even though we really don't need to, we can just kinda do whatever now, cause I failed that thing I was trying to do. But... Um... I did actually get a couple other ones in the process. I got Armor Smith, which is make 50 pieces of armor because I made so much fucking, um... Because I made so much jewelry, which counts as armor. Uh, and I also got pocket money because I... Because, um... The game tracks how much wealth you've accumulated... And not just your current, like, on-hand money. So, like, you can have, like, th like four gold, but the game will still say you've collected, like, 10,000 or something like that. <laughs> Lydia, you... <laughs> just ran straight through the trap. But yeah, I also made an Elven Die Katana as my weapon. Now, normally I would mine up this spot, but because of the uh, fucking, I'll actually take this hide armor so I can get uh, more leather straps later. But because of the mining mother load mod, kind of janking with the with the other one I have, I think like that's that'll just take a fucking hour and a half. Either way, we're just gonna real quick. Wait, hold on. I have soul gems. That I can fill. Did I did I use it? Yes, my thing. No, I don't think it did. Oh, no, it's soul trap. I don't want soul trap. I want. Soul cloak. Which costs a lot more. So I'll have to wait. Apparently only costs 108, but like I remember a previous version of that costing 120 or something like that. So I, that's why I put so I put like a couple points into magic so I'd have 120 magic. That's a good team. Oh, and I also have a mod that whenever you crit, it says shy of surprise. But because of a weird way the game is coded, even though it doesn't say it, it also counts. Oh, 
fucking beacon. It also counts critical hit it also counts critical hits as sneak attacks. So it will say shy of surprise every time I get a critical. Okay, now, I, now there we go, now it's working. Now I can fill up four black soul gems. Return my beacon to Mount Kilkrise. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Nice. Time I don't even like that 69 joke, but... Still. Okay, so that's... Two... And I have it also set up so it will never underfill a soul gem, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so I don't have to worry about it like, oh hey, you killed like a fox, but all you had were black soul gems. So we put like the we put like a like a petty soul in your black soul gem. Deal with it, bitch. <laughs> okay, wow, I got a... I need... Like, uh, I need to pause the episode real quick. Um... Be right back, I guess. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Apparently, I, apparently the uh, like I was I was uh, on break doing the between stuff longer than I thought, so I just kind of had to use the bathroom. <laughs> I'll just drop those. Okay, now where the fuck's Lydia? Oh, there you are. That's the other thing about followers, that they're just never there. Like, or half the time they'll just disappear and you'll never see, and like, you'll, oh, they probably die somewhere, shit. And then you'll like walk, then you'll like walk around for like half an hour and all of a sudden they'll be there. Plus sometimes you just kind of bug out. <clears throat> like, I remember, well, I was watching I can't remember who it was. I think it was Miss Sayanella doing a live stream of Skyrim. And she had Lydia as a follower who just fucking walked away for some like for no real reason. And then they just and then and then she she just found her later. Shit's weird sometimes. But then again, this game isn't exactly known for being stable. You know, hence all the fucking pauses. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I think I'm gonna just do a little bit more cleanup around white run because there's like two specific locations I like to clear one of which has a uh, book in it that's super useful it's well it's a spell it's a spell it's transmute or which I have a mod to make it so that's not a pain in the ass to use. You just cast it once and it does and it does all of of the ore in your inventory instead of doing it one at a time. <clears throat> okay, at some point I'm just gonna have to like type up a list of the mods I have and like make a Google Doc or something and uh, link that. Oh look it's the elves. Walk away now. I didn't do shit. You don't own me. Fucking Thalmor. 
Or assholes is what they are. Like, canonically, they're assholes. <laughs> and I can't... And lore-wise, I think they're actually the entire reason why the Civil War is a thing. Wait, how many, uh... Okay, so I don't have any more black soul gems to fill. Alright. You figuring out where to go, Lydia? Seemed a bit confused for a moment there. Just the guy seemed to be for a minute. Oh, I never completely forgot about up here. Lydia that dwarven bow, because she likes to use a bow sometimes. Lydia just murdered the shit out of that dude. So what's up to this motherfucker? Oh, also, uh... Like, you guys might notice that I'm not censoring out my swearing like in the beginning of the videos like some other YouTubers are. Mostly because I'm not... I can't really monetize this anyway. At least not right now. Wait, what, what type of... Oh, scoped bow. I forgot I installed that mod. I think I will actually give Lydia the Dwarven Bow. And a bunch of Iron Arrows, even though she technically just kind of starts with that, I think, if she uses a bow. But I was also kind of thinking, like, even, like, uh, actually, no. I was going to say I was thinking about installing some, like, follower mods, but I don't ever use followers, so there's no point. Time to end this. Level up. Can't do that. Um. You know, let's do. Let's let's put one in speech. Let's also got a bunch of levels in speech from. I'm right behind you. Oh, I need to do I some training with you. Born to carry your burdens. All right, you're full of shit. So. Okay, that did not come out right, but my point stands. You can't carry anything because you're because you're weight because you have too much stuff. Uh, let's take. Let's take that off you, and that off you, and that off you. I'm still carrying too much shit. There we go. You and now she's wearing dwarven boots. Well, everything else she wears is, you know, normal ass. Your normal ass steel. And stop fucking dancing! That's stupid. And I don't know how to fix it.
I mean, I suppose one way I could fix it is by uninstalling the mod, but I kind of don't want to. Ah, oh, shit, that potion made me fucking over-encumbered. Oh, I'm also carrying a lot of rings, I just noticed. Oh, and uh, that ring is for um, a werewolf mod I have, so I'm not using that. Oh, so I can't sell that, I should say. Also, um... Wait, what the fuck was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying anymore. I think it's because I was thinking of a thing. I think it's because my brain right now is moving faster than my mouth. Oh, hey, an orc. You can tell by the green skin. I've been kind of half meaning to make an orc for a while, to make an orc character for a while, because I never do. Also, uh, you know, you can come over here, Lydia. There's nothing stopping you. There you go. Uh, I bet this guy's stuck on something. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah, usually they get stuck, like, this guy, like, sometimes this guy will get stuck on, like, the, uh... Ow! Sometimes that guy will get stuck on a thing. That's it, Lydia. Be my shield! There we go. I will take that orcish dagger, though. How much money do I have? Okay, so I can buy I can buy Breeze Home right now if I wanted to. Which I'm going to because I'm tired of being over encumbered. I always find it. Like, I get why, but I think it's kind of funny how, you know, reading a book destroys it. Also, where, why the fuck do I have three knives? That's dumb. Alright, I left the poison in there because I don't plan on using it. Okay, so I'm gonna bail, and this place isn't actually finished being... Actually, I'll just kill the last, like, three or four dudes in here. Then I'll go buy Breeze home. So Lydia has a place to live since, um... The player home I'm actually gonna... That I'm actually going to aim for... Doesn't let you have people move in, which is dumb. You know it has beds and stuff for that. Yeehaw. Okay, yeah, there should be a spellcaster right here. Yep. Look at my Argonian. You know, it's kind of telling that most of the, uh... That most of the beast race races you find in this game are... Bandits. It's kind of fucked up when you think about it. But it also kind of makes sense, considering we're in fucking Skyrim. Let's just, uh... Eat some of these to maybe... 
lower it a bit. Um, there we go. Now I am just barely <laughs> like low enough to not be over encumbered. So I can fast travel. And I just remembered something. Like, one time, like, fucking ages ago, I was playing through, because I just kind of play through this game sometimes. And I was doing one of the DLCs, and the game glitched to where when I got poisoned, I stayed poisoned. Like, it, like it was going to take eight real-life hours for the poison to wear off, and I couldn't cure it. Because, like, cure poison spells and stuff weren't working, so I actually had to use console commands to fix it. It was dumb. And bad. And bad. And dumb. <laughs> I love that joke. I, and by the way, I, like, I will not hide the fact that I basically took that joke directly from the... Ego Raptor's sequelitis video upon like about Castlevania and Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Or was it Castlevania and Castlevania 4? I can't remember exactly what the video was about. I think it was about 1 and 2. And I'd have to watch it again, but that joke always makes me laugh. Okay, so even though the I fucked up by not hitting the timer. I think it might actually be about time to wrap up. So I'm going to go buy myself a house and then, you know, do that. I serve Jarl Balgrum. Splendid. There's a house available, right? Wonderful. Here's the key. To there we the go. Home. And the book made me over encumbered. I'll just fucking eat all this shit. There we go. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. And I got another achieve that achievement. Nice. I love the fucking jokey loading screens mod that I got. Like, it's not as good as the other one I had, which I think had the same name or something. But this one's still good. It just re it just repeats the messages a lot. Though that one I don't see very often. Though I do off but though I do see the you can use drugs to make potions one. And the I bet your one handed skill is super I bet your one handed skill is really high. You disgust me. I see those two like all the time. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against. Ha! Isran's going to just like you. See that just so Don't I can get the quest. Okay, now do I have this do I have the mod for this? I do not. Okay, so well, I'm not gonna spend any more money on this, but Okay, so Lydia. I'm right behind you. Uh I am sworn to carry your burdens. So we take all this shit back. You lead, I'll follow. And then slowly walk over to this chest. So I can drop all of it off in there. Oh, I could probably... Alright, I should... I should, pro I should... No, I, I would unenchant that, but I think I'm just going to store all this shit for now. And I just stored the helmet I was wearing. Store all the potions, because I I can't use those to level 25. Store all the books and stuff in here.
Okay then. So. Oh yeah, I I am a, I am a lot fucking lighter now. Okay, so next time on Skyrim, uh, I'm gonna clear out some more bandit caves, and then we're probably gonna start doing the story. All right, I'll see you guys next time. This is Afro Blade Master. Logging off.